Hello everybody and welcome back to Free Range Diva. It's a late Saturday afternoon and I am about to get ready to go out. So I figured I'd do a little get ready with me uh, and you show you the makeup look that I'm going to wear tonight. I'm, it's a very casual thing I'm going to. Uh, it's the Paley Fest and tonight is Yellowstone night. So um, if I can take pictures, I will. But uh, I want, just going to have it, you know, it's very casual. So although it's an evening out, I'm going to try to do something that basically just looks like me, but a little bit better. Starting with my foundation is going to be from Ilia. It's the True Skin Serum Foundation. My color is Chios. And lately, to get a very natural look, especially around you know, where I have lines, I've just been applying this with my fingers. So, got my mirror right here. So that's what we're gonna do, is get this on first. As you can see, it goes on just like a moisturizer. It has a medium coverage, and the shade is pretty much an exact match. So you can see I'm getting coverage from this, but I want it to look like skin, which is what it does, which is what this makeup does better than anything I've tried. Not that I've tried a lot, but I do have a couple of foundations in my arsenal and this is by far my favorite, not only for the color match, but for the fact that it's just very sheer and it just makes your skin look beautiful it look like your it looks like skin but a little more evened out more of a glow but it's not a shine as you can see it's just a healthy glow yeah so i have a friend who loves yellowstone i like this show too uh, but she's like a really big fan and so she got tickets to the paley fest uh, tonight it'll probably be on youtube they usually show these things you know, on, on some YouTube channel somewhere, but um, it's at the Dolby Theater, and it's just going to be an interview talk back with the cast. Uh, let's see, for concealer, e.l.f., camo concealer, yeah. Don't need a lot, thank goodness. I got a decent amount of sleep last night, so at least my under eyes are not looking too bad. Where's my, there it is. Just going to put this, use this concealer brush from Morphe just to tap it into the areas underneath the eye. Excess I'll use to cover what's left of these age spots. In fact, I might need a little more. There's one right there. These have been looking so much better, my age spots, uh, since I've been treating them with the faded. So, yeah, there's a, little, there's a little bit of discoloration right there, so I'll hit that, hit this side as well with a little bit of excess, any excess. But overall, my skin's looking pretty good these days, so I'm happy with it. So I don't need anything to set. This should last perfectly fine uh, for the evening. And nothing, I'm not too shiny on the nose or anything like that. So I'm just going to skip the setting powder, go straight in with the eyes. I've got my Jane Iredale Daytime Palette. I usually use this, if I'm wearing makeup, this will be the palette that I use, at least for part of it. And today, I'm just going to lay down uh, an area as kind of a base. And I'm going to use the shade right here. I believe this is called Cappuccino in this palette, but this one right in the middle. It's such a pretty color, especially if I just want my eyes to look really nice. I usually just apply this because it gives you gives me just a hint of color, color. It's got a little bit of a lavender base. So it complements my eye color 
and it's going to be the base for the little bit of sparkle that I add from the next palette that I'm going to use, and that's from M Cosmetics. Ow! <laughs> this is their Divine Skies eyeshadow palette, and here it is. It's just lots of warm peaches, pinks, uh, browns. So I'm going to go into the crease with this brown shade right here using the same brush. very light strokes. I want to try and make my eyes look as big as possible. I've been listening to this lecture series about uh, how we fall in love and one of the things that attracts people to each other is, believe it or not, your eye size, particularly uh, the pupil size. Okay, I'm going to soften all of that up with just a clean brush right here. Just to make it a little bit softer the tra in this transition area. Okay, then for, hmm, I think for shimmer, I'm going to use this color down here at the bottom. So I'll use my finger just to put this right where I want it, which is just on top of the mobile mobile lid. Left hand. <laughs> yeah, much better. So for those of you who don't know, I do live in Southern California in Los Angeles and I have to say, I'm looking out the window right now, we have had over the last two months, 40 days and 40 nights <laughs> of rain. It hasn't been quite that bad, but it's been every week at least two to three days of rain. And the days, like the first couple of days right after the last deluge, when the sun comes out, everything is all clean. The air is crisp and it's clean. All the smog and stuff has been washed out of the air and off the buildings. And it just the city of Los Angeles is just sparkling right now uh, because of that. It's not going to last. I noticed today that the that the thin gray film was starting to come back from the smog. But yesterday was gorgeous. Today is uh, still pretty. Not obviously as clear as yesterday, but still. I'm just going to pump that up a little bit, pump that up. <laughs> By using this Jones Rose shade right here. This is like a highlighter sparkle kind of thing. I'm just going to apply it right to the center of the lid on both sides. And then using this little pencil brush from Morphe blend it around just to give it a teensy bit more sparkle in the area. And then the final thing will be to use again the clean brush and just soften the edges. For brows going to be trying to working a little bit of symmetry here. Oof. Gosh, it's warm in here though. So I'm going to use uh, my Silk Naturals Brow Powder. I've been using this for years. Um, the shade is medium brown, medium ash, medium ash brown. And um, I you know, it looks very natural on my eyes. Little, little browner than my own natural hairs, but very close. In the interest of symmetry, I'm just starting by adding a little more to the top of this side. One thing, I've been using uh, herbal 
an herbal sort of hormone balancing protocol ever since I want to say October and one of the side benefits is that I, one of the first things I noticed is that the sides of my eye, of my brows like this side grew back in <laughs> this used to just be like one or two long hairs in this area so I would just pluck it all out and then draw it in but these are like my hairs in there and that used to be like nothing and this side even the hairs uh, the gray that was in this brow gone it's now coming in dark brown so something is happening and I like it so I'm using a very light hand with this So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to fill in these areas where I have holes. The one product that I don't have that I wish I did have is uh, one of those brow gel type products that keep your brows in place once you've groomed them. I'm never sure if my brows are actually going to stay where I put them, you know. So my outfit tonight, I think I'm going to do all black. Don't ask me why, I'm just feeling like an all black evening. So this, this black, uh, what is this called? Tea, I guess. Uh, sleeveless tee and then uh, a black sweater over that probably jeans and then black boots and and a black coat jacket or whatever so it, so yeah those brows look pretty good and they they look pretty even at least to me they do I hope they do on camera moving into eyeliner we're gonna do purple it's just Whenever I want to highlight my brown eyes, or if, ever, if you have brown eyes and you want to highlight them, purple liner will do it. And because of my brow shape, I'm just going to stick to my natural shape and stay as close to the lash line as I can. There's no point in me pretending like I can put a wing on because of the shape. My eyes are almond shaped. They go like that. They don't even go like that. So. My mantra is enhance what you have. <laughs> and then underneath, I'm going to hit the uh, just the lash line and I'm being so I'm using I'm not using a lot of pressure I'm being very light with this pencil I want to clean this up here on the sides so let's use just gonna use a little bit of concealer on this brush No, I'm not going to leave that like that, by the way. I can't tell. I hope that looks even. All right, moving on. Stop obsessing over your eye, over, over the corner of your eye, Cheryl. Okay. Mascara. I'm still using and loving this Lily Lolo. Uh, this is their extra, what is this called? Well, this is their lengthen, their lengthening and volume. I'll write the name of it right here so you can actually get the right info. It's kind of rubbed off. But this gives you length and it gives you volume too. So 
The other thing that I noticed is after being on taking these herbs is that my eyelashes <laughs> thicker and longer. There's more of them. Second coat. And those are done and ready to go. So we want a quick dusting of bronzer to warm the face up on the high points of the face. Especially up in here. My brushes are so overdue for a cleaning. <laughs> Very nice. That, by the way, was from, that bronzer is from Han Cosmetics, H-A-N. Here's the color. Oops. I think it's called Malibu, but I'll check it and put it in the description below. If you have a similar coloring to me, um, which is kind of your medium tan, neutral, uh, it's a beautiful natural bronzer, uh, warm, warm toned bronzer. <clears throat> Also from Han, I'm using their Pressed Powder Blush. Again, I will look up the color of this. This is a peachy pink color. So it just looks very natural and healthy. And it gives you a little, this has a little bit of a glow to it. I can't tell if that's a freckle or a mark. <laughs> this is the found my foundation. Okay, that's better. Might as well do a little bit of that on this side too so that they kind of match. Just a little more concealer. The last thing I do will be to grab my damp makeup sponge and just press everything in so that it's all cohesive and, you know, all blends together nicely. Lips, we're almost done. Yay. Uh, lining with this is, the color is called Elegant. It's from Mineral Fusion. It's one of my favorite lip liners. This is a pinky peach shade and my lip color is also going to be a pinky peach shade. And that is from Han. It's called Ten, what's it called? Trailblazer. From Han, Trailblazer. This is their lip gloss. And I've almost used this up and I will be buying it as the minute I run out. It just makes my lips look pretty. Okay, let's meld everything together. Be right back. Okay, just making sure everything is blended. So peach on the face, black on the body. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if you can tell, but that blush, there's, a, you can, maybe you can see the little bit of glow that that blush gives you here. And so no highlighter needed, you just one product and you're glowy. Now I'm going to put my hair on.
Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss my next one. You know how that goes. Uh, yeah, and I will report back to you if anything fun or unusual happens. I'll take pictures if I can. Otherwise, I hope you're doing something fun this evening. If you are, let me know what that is. And uh, yeah, take care until I see you in my next video. Till then, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.